live. So for anyone watching the video right now, what's up? I am here with Bobby, a community member, um, channel community member, and FCC community member. Um, we're going to be just chatting and just talking about a lot of different things going on. Uh, uh, he has a channel, so he's going to be talking about that, but we're going to be going on with XDC, uh, his experience in the XDC community, um, different things that he may want to ask me as well as some things I want to ask him, and hopefully encourage more community engagement as he's the first of hopefully many different people that are part of my channel community that can come up here and talk about their experience. Um, and Bobby, just so you know, we're about to go public. And okay. go public. Yeah, so when we go public, um, that's when people usually start filing in, um, and everything looks everything looks good. So, um, anywho, anywho, uh, uh, hey, how you doing? Uh, how's your day been? It's been good. Yeah, um, it's been pretty busy, but yeah, overall pretty good. How about you? That's awesome. That's awesome. No, it's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. Uh, it's funny actually. I've been playing a ton of. 2k actually i've been playing it on my stream as well but i've been playing a ton of 2k lately so kind of in my downtime i've been picking that up a bit uh and kind of trying to i guess ball out with some friends <laughs> but yeah it's cool, been cool. cool it's been cool yeah. so yeah so uh so i've seen you so part of the reason why i have you up here is i've seen you in a ton of my spaces um i know you're a super active community member not only in uh on my youtube channel discord but also uh in the xdc community so I wanted to be able to bring you up here because I thought, well, one, I saw that you had a channel and that you were super active, but two, just ask you about your experience and, um, and just sort of see where you're coming from. Um, can you give everyone sort of like a brief inter uh, introduction on who you are, what you're all about, your channel, your projects and all of that? Cool, yeah. Um, so I got into crypto um, uh, from a friend of mine. He, he introduced me to uh, Ethereum back in the day. And you know, I was uh, you know I'm a software engineer, so I dabbled in uh, smart contracts and all that stuff and blockchain. And uh, eventually came came to my came to a realization that Ethereum wasn't the future. So, and uh, I was just looking around, and you know I looked at all the top ten so-called uh, Ethereum killers like Solana and Cardano, and I somehow came upon XTC and uh, and realized okay, this is something special. So. Yeah, yeah that, that's awesome. That's awesome. I saw that you had a, I saw that you had a small YouTube channel. Um, actually, the reason why I thought your YouTube channel was interesting was I see a lot of influ like influencer, if you want to call that, uh, influencer channels, and you see a lot of XRP Army channels. You see a lot of XD or uh, not XTC, but Ethereum or Bitcoin. But um, I've never actually seen a channel so not even just dedicated to XDC, but um, but that same sort of energy focused around XDC. Um, so it sort of perked my interest because I was like, well, one, it's actually quite interesting. You actually have a channel full of a lot of memes. Um, but two, some of your skits are quite interesting as well. Um, some of us at the foundation uh, have been sharing around some of the skits you've had and thought they were quite humorous, actually. Um, so, yeah, did you did you want to speak on that? Sure. Yeah. Um, so. My channel is mainly focused on, um, as you can see, as you can tell, marketing XTC. Uh, in a way that uh, people don't expect it. Uh, it's it's mainly just full of memes and just trying to get the point across to people that uh, XTC is the real Ethereum killer, basically. <laughs> um, for example, um, you like uh, I'll talk about that site that I was working on. Uh, yeah, Uzi yeah, go in that. Yeah, go in that. Yeah, in you that. probably saw like a tutorial, tutorial video or something like that. Um, so that's basically a, a, a chat site. I made where you can um, watch YouTube YouTube videos and chat with other people in any room, and how that relates to um, XCC is I have the XCC logo covering like one fourth of the site. Uh, if you can pull you can pull up the site um, if you want, but yeah, basically it's it covers like one fourth of the site, and so whenever someone goes on the site, they see the XCC logo, and and uh, yeah, that's um. So my goal with that site is. It's 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 never been done before. Um, think about it. If you think about it, it's like a, a website where you can watch YouTube with millions of other people in any room. Um, yeah, it's, it's people have said that it, it looks like um, YouTube uh, or sorry, uh, watch together 
feature on Discord. Uh, it's kind of like that, but it's a site built entirely around that idea. And when that gets when that goes viral, so will XCC. So that's awesome. Does it uh, does it utilize like XCC or smart contracts in the in the site, or is it sort of just like a, a tool that also promotes the uh, the network? So right now it's just um, it's just mainly for promotion, uh, from just getting the word out, uh, XCC word out. Uh, eventually, I want to add. I want to implement XCC like prog programmatically uh, through um, maybe like a XC login or something, uh, and maybe add in XC donations as well. That would be awesome. Directly awesome. through the website, yeah. Um, no, that could be super cool. I think uh, another thing that could be really interesting with that community aspect, uh, since everyone's sort of like watching together. Uh, maybe you can, I don't know, maybe you can have a smart contract that could help people decide on what to watch or something or uh, or even maybe sort of like some sort of recommendation that shows what are the most popular things that are watched. Um, just ideas, I guess you could say. Uh, Definitely. Yeah, yes, for sure. Um, that's, that's, that's a good point. Um, uh, figuring out, having the community decide on what to watch um, based on, you know, like some, you know, uh, uh, you know, how much, I guess how much uh, uh, how many people decide on of this particular video based on like how many XCC they donate or something, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, there could be there could be a, a bunch of different ways you can integrate uh, XCC smart contracts uh, into your application and utilize it more than just a uh, a promotional tool. Definitely, yeah. There's a similar site called um, Jungle TV. I don't know if you've heard about it. It's uh, it's similar. It's similar. It utilizes um the uh, it's called the nano crypto. Nano? Can you explain that nano crypto? Um, I don't really know too much about it, but it utilizes this. So, if you want to add a video to the queue on Jungle TV, you you would uh you would have to pay in crypto basically, and the the depending on the length of the uh, d d depending on the length of the youtube video um the longer it is the more crypto you have to pay basically so yeah, yeah so if you so with my site is anyone can can add youtube videos to the queue for free um there's no interaction with the the blockchain but on 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 this jungle tv site that i talk about they have to pay in nano crypto uh, i think it's like it's, i think it's like is it called like banana or something but yeah anyways it's a, it's a crypto that's built on the i think the nano blockchain and uh yeah you know what i think you should do i think if you took your if you took your app and you tilted it just a tiny bit and instead of just focusing on watching like movies together if you focused it on potentially having that as as being like a uh like an aggregate live streaming site as well as like tipping donations especially everything through on-chain means I think you can do exactly just that, especially especially since we're streaming now, but also encompass the new incoming culture of streaming, um, as well as incorporate all of those other crypto tools on top of it. I only say that because um, I sort of see that now. I see people creating like their own like third party streaming sites, but don't have that particular feature. And usually they're just porting their stream from whatever like Twitch or YouTube or whatever. But uh, but yeah, having a interactive chat that could all watch the stream together, as well as have those additional tools on top, I think could be like a game changer. Definitely, definitely. And and I saw you, uh, you know, you're entering the the gaming streaming, um, in, uh, environment or. That yes. You, you want to yes, start gaming and stuff? Yeah, yeah. It's been um, I've been like a gamer forever. It's part of why I got into uh, software development, um, especially like modding and all that. And just since I've been in streaming, I've actually like I watch streamers all the time. Um, and I kind of didn't realize this until I became like till I sort of thought twice about it. Uh, but there's like this culture of gaming and streaming. Um, most people that you see online, especially whether it's like YouTubers or uh, streamers, um, usually they're doing some other activity um, while they're while they're interacting on video. Now don't get me wrong, there's like you, there's like commentary channels and channels that are mostly focused around like edited content. Uh, but a lot of people and a lot of channels are focused on gaming, or even I even see some channels that like you see women doing their makeup or something, um, or some um, some other activity. I always thought to myself, I'm like, oh my god, what's with this like other activity? But I also sort of realized that whenever you start doing a lot of content there's sort of a lot of like dead t like dead air or whatever so having that other activity also uh, creates another layer of stimulation 
um, especially if the activity is pretty interesting, like a game, objective, whatever. Um, but I also thought it could be an interesting cool tool to be able to collaborate with other people in the space. So I thought it's part of the reason why I've been playing 2K a lot. I know 2K has been, I know this, the newest 2K 2024 uh, has had like pretty bad reviews or whatever, but I know 2K in general is a really popular game that people like to play, especially like in collaborative um, environments. Um, I have a few other games too, like Elden Ring and like Rocket League and some others. Um, but it was just something I thought would be pretty cool and might be used as a tool to also collaborate with people in the space, even if they're not explicitly like crypto people. Um, being able to branch out from people that aren't necessarily focused on crypto and still being able to have general conversations, I think has been the best way to be able to. It's not like, oh, I'm trying to convert people to crypto, like I'm not a missionary, but um, but being able to give people the frame of mind to be more accepting or at least more open to different ideas around crypto is great, or at least at the very, very, very least, cut down on the confusion. Um, so I thought using that as a strategy could be really interesting. Um, and it's just sort of something I've seen that's been uh, kind of a thing online. Like if you go on Twitch right now and you like go see anyone streaming, like 95% of them are usually playing some game of some sort or doing some activity, uh, whatever. Um, so yeah, I thought it, you know, sort of doing two in one, have that extra layer of stimulation for dead air, dead time, um, as well as, uh, as well as uh, use it as a tool to potentially collaborate with people in the space. And so far, it's been pretty cool. Um, I've f actually found community members that joined me on like Xbox or joined me on 2K and actually like kind of played with them a bit too. So I might actually use that as a tool also, just like we chat here now in Discord, I might use that as a tool to also bring up community members. And maybe while we're playing a game, like playing 3v3 2K, um, we could be having a conversation like we are now. Um, I did that sort of, I had a stream like over the weekend where I did that. And right after I ended the stream, I was just chilling with one of the community members who just added me. And we were just talking about his perspectives, talking about he had some questions. We were just chilling. Coolest thing ever. I was like, oh, I wish I caught this on stream. Like, this would have been cool. But I never even thought about it till that happened. So that might be another thing I might do. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Um, so talking about streaming, um, are, you, are you familiar with the um, – you're familiar with Kick, right? Kick? Yeah. The streaming platform? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard you. I heard you. Um, you watch like Adam Ross and then all, uh, and all those streamers on there, or at least you mentioned the the how wild uh, you found those clips were or something like that. Yeah. So so this is actually like an interesting. So if you look at this is so this is so cool. Although this is sort of like a tangent from the original thing I wanted to talk about. The thing that's really interesting about the new ethos of streaming, this new culture of streaming. And you see this with every new dominant type of social media dynamic. So when we first, like Twitter has its own dynamic and you would see people blow up on Twitter. You would see um, YouTube and the YouTubers have their own dynamic where people are dropping out videos and people are watching their videos. Um, and then the streamers, this is like a whole new dynamic because before people would at least on twitter people would get their new their news from twitter or whatever their you know colloquial news engagement from twitter they would watch youtube like they would watch netflix or watch any other sort of streaming platform but then uh live streaming because traditional live streaming is like live news live streaming is like this whole new ethos where people are sort of um people are it's, it's not like reality tv either because and you may go oh because the scripted or whatever but people are essentially taking the craziest elements of their life and they're broadcasting that and people are actually super interested. And that's actually not the most interesting part about that. The most interesting part about that is like they could have an eight hour stream and like seven hours of that would have been like dead time and people still watch it for the eight hours. Don't get me wrong. You get plenty of clips that are absolutely mind boggling. Right, right, yeah. So wild, the craziest things that yeah. you probably see on the internet. But for the longest, like for a good chunk of that, and these aren't, and don't get me wrong, like a good, when I said that 95 figure for streamers that are sitting there playing games, that other 5% are literally either in their rooms doing crazy stuff. Like I saw Kai Sinet throwing like a party, his birthday party in his oh, room. Yeah. Um, either they're going out in public, like going to Vegas, Miami, you see like Neon doing this, Aiden Ross doing this, uh, Zerka doing this. Um, and there's this ethos that's like, that's being created. And part of it is, and you sort of see this with just, 
uh, online content in general. Um, but part of it is you see people constantly needing to one up the extreme things that they do. And since it's live, there's sort of this like if you do a video, you have to do something extreme cut the video up and then put the video out and then you have to do something more extreme when you're live streaming yeah you, you right. did something crazy this morning and now it's the afternoon and it's dead and you got to do something crazy again and it's just like this right. live life live feedback loop yeah of constantly getting more and more uh in engaging more right and more crazy. There's, like, there's like no no downtime you have to keep keep getting crazy and crazier yeah yeah and um and the the thing i think find really interesting about that is well one so that's a dynamic in itself that i find interesting but two there's a dynamic where people are spending quite a bit of time watching these live streams now it doesn't really matter what you watch because people go how are people in their room people like what they like the thing that's interesting is is this for this medium for uh this medium of content is significantly different than any other medium of content. Um, traditional live things would have wall to wall, like, you know, you would have, you know, uh, uh, three people talking and a thing scrolling along the bottom and it's just wall to wall, like coverage of just something constantly. But con live streaming now is almost like lifestyle live streaming where you would have lifestyle vlogging right. where you'd do something in your life and you'd vlog it and you'd make a video. Mm -hmm. But now it's like that with streaming, but it's way more lax because it's like real. Like you can't like do things crazy all the time. So some some people are like chilling in their room. Sometimes they do something crazy. Um, but the thing that's interesting is once they start coming together, I think the thing that people are really in invested in isn't so much the streamer. And this is actually something that I'm going to do. So if I'm successful, uh, I should be one of the biggest mm -hmm. streamers next year if this works. Um, but the thing that people are invested in isn't so much the streamer, it's the canon. So Aiden Ross is a perfect example. Aiden Ross was like just some dude in like South Florida. I think he lived in Tampa or something. And he was just like just some dude who streamed, like some random guy or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but then like he like started gaming on 2k started playing more games uh he ended up like um he ended up like playing a game with uh, lebron's um son uh and then getting lebron, LeBron on the phone right. yeah 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 and then he started like doing more collabs started doing these collabs with these rappers and it doesn't really matter about each individual moment but it's seeing that progression of that one individual that is like very interesting that people find and you don't even need to watch the person to follow that i didn't watch i don't like typically watch Aiden. i mean don't get me wrong like if this is a stream on it's crazy i might watch it but i'm not like like someone who's followed him throughout this entire thing but i sort of know about this 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 canon that's built and that's the thing that people find really interesting with live streaming and you don't have to make that canon absolutely crazy and extreme you don't um people tend to do that because it's easy to garner attention um but if you're able to garner that canon and people see this too this is like this is like the example of what makes a good celebrity a good celebrity you're invested in their canon and their i guess you could say their reputation and presuming that it's good and presuming that it's still interesting even if they're not doing anything, people still find whatever they're doing interesting. This is where you get, you know, people keeping up with the Kardashians is a perfect example of this, actually. Mm. Yeah, um, but that's the thing. Um, this is happening for, like, regular people now. And I, I would even say regular people are way more interesting than, like, Neon, a perfect example. Regular-ass kid. Like, regular-ass kid. And now just blown up, you know, yeah. uh, this is a person on the internet. <laughs> um, but that's the thing. The, the, the dynamic of people being able to... Uh, continuously follow this canon live is a new dynamic of the internet and i hope to do this with this channel so yeah so why i hope to do this with this channel is i get to see so many different projects and so many different people and get to have so many different experiences and um a lot of people don't get to see it just because they aren't there and because um most things in crypto how they operate is online um, and when you do get a chance to meet in person, it's like very, very specific places. Like there's not like a general place where people get a chance to meet. Um, unless you're there, you don't get to see it. And all you get to see is stuff on Twitter. So I'm trying to build this canon where, and this is why I brought on Jake, or this is why I brought on Greg, and even why I'm bringing on you. Um, but I want to build this canon of people that I interact with, uh, different experiences that I have. Eventually, I will get into IRL uh, IRL streaming, uh, but that's only when I go to events. So I went to Consensus last year. I went to Mainnet. I went to ETH Global. I went to the XDC convention in Austin. I went to all these conventions, and I streamed Consensus a little bit, but I didn't think about IRL streaming at the time. Um, but now that I'm like, oh, my gosh, while I'm at these events, um, funny enough, I actually spoke with Jake at Consensus. I'm pretty sure I had him on live at Consensus, and that was really cool. Um, but those are the experiences where you're, like, out there. You're just talking to people. You're just like, hey, what's up? 
Um, and that's like a, that's like a canon that builds. So, you know, ideally you'd see different people doing different things and then you'd see them constantly at different events. So you'll be, so it's like, oh, that's Jake or, oh, that's this or, oh, that's that. And, um, and that's the thing. These people are there. These people are doing things, but because people don't get to see that canon build, they just see just individual people doing individual things or individual announcements, um, or whatever. And usually what ends up happening, because I sort of see this with developers, is I could see a developer build an app that could be like the next like billion dollar company. I saw this at, uh, at ETH Global. This guy bas- these two guys basically build a payment terminal akin to Visa that utilizes a uh, payment card. And you can use that to sign transactions at the terminal and basically pay, pay make crypto payments through this card. Um, and it was awesome. It was like a prototype. It was just brilliant, right? Um, no funding, no nothing, just prototype. And I'm like, oh, that would be so cool. Like for me, it's cool talking to them, hanging out with them for the weekend, doing all of this. And then I might end up seeing them a year or two later, you know, gotten funding, doing this. Maybe they're like, you know, in production or whatever. And the average person would only see that announcement and go, oh, this announcement. But there, at the very least, there would have been like this buildup uh, up into up into that announcement. Um, Josh from uh, Digital Transformation Group, I had him on last week. Um, he's a perfect example of that. His his startup, uh, DG, DTG, um, is exactly that. I met them at Mainnet as well, and they were just sort of this group of guys. Now they're working with some of the main guys at XDC and working with some of the main guys. Oh, um, uh, wow, yeah, okay. so it's like, yeah, so it's, and that's the thing, like, I get to that's see great. this. I hung out with them. I chatted with them. Yeah. I get to have conversations with people at XDC that are talking about them. And I'm like, holy cow, this is awesome. But then most people will never see it until after. After something really really big happens as opposed to going right, right. oh that's josh or oh that's jose mm-hmm. or oh those are the guys from and you know they've been here the whole time it's just that no one ever gets to see it till the news breaks and there's a lot of stuff that right, happens right. before the news breaks and no one really knows what's mm-hmm. news until it's news you know right. so it could just be a rumor or it could be something that's happening or maybe it's not really mm-hmm. happening and that's all like it's all like real like it's not like it's like things happen and fall through so it's not like it's like oh things aren't happening no things you just don't you don't necessarily know what's going to be big until it's big, but you do see things all the time right. and people are sort of like, Oh, cool. So, so yeah, it's just this canon that I, I, that I think that I think there's, and I think it's funny too. I'm not the only one who could do this. I think there, I think there are other people in the space that have the capacity to do this as well. Um, I just don't think uh, live sh- people associate live streaming with the most insane crap. So most people don't really get into it. So just right. like crypto, where I'm sort of like the sane crypto guy, I sort of want to be like the sane streamer. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, sane and streamer usually don't go together. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, it's really cool that um that you you want to capture all these all these interactions through your stream and like create that canon, right? Like you said, so people can, you know, follow along the ride, the yeah, journey. Exactly. Exactly. And that's the thing, like it only gets it only gets crazier. I think, I think part of the, so this, uh, let me tell you a story. Actually, if I started live streaming earlier, I probably would be one of the biggest live streamers on the planet right now. And that's a little bit hyperbole. But what I mean mm-hmm. from that is when I first blew up, um, I came out to LA cause I got invited basically by a bunch of like TikTokers or whatever that were like staying in like West Hollywood. Mm-hmm. And everyone was like, it was all TikTok was the craze. So no one was live streaming at the time or that wasn't like the hot thing to do. TikTok was like the craze. So I was like getting into like making TikToks or whatever. But Mm -hmm. everywhere I was was insane. Um, We were just staying in like these crazy mansions. We were going to these crazy parties, even these silly NFT parties or whatever, going out to like clubs like every night. And it sounds like sort of like crazy parties and stuff like that. But what ends up happening is you end up meeting people who later on end up being people that end up doing other things. This is sort of the same thing with like consensus, although it was way more formal. Um, But the reason I say that is is uh the reason i say that is i'm like oh if i live stream that it was the whole freaking like everything there were the lambos there were the freaking like overseeing the like the hills or whatever the freaking uh, city all the freaking crazy like it was it was exactly that um and that's the thing like uh that's not the point that's actually not the point at all um but the thing is is people are really drawn to flashy things so if you take Mm -hmm. a tiny glimpse of that flashiness and then go oh yeah by the way one of the main things that's even generating all of this is and then go into some trade finance product or something 
Um, now, don't get me wrong. At the time, at the time, people were not doing trade finance in in LA. The biggest thing, NFTs were the rage were the rage at the time too. Right. So everything was like an NFT thing. Everything was this, 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 this. Everything right. was kind of well, everything was kind of BS at the time. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, but there were very small glimpses because I ended up meeting up with some people in terms of being able to tokenize real estate. And it was a huge thing because that was just like a conversation. Like it wasn't like an official, it wasn't anything crazy. It was a conversation. And it was a good one too. It was like an ongoing thing for like a couple of weeks of like what are the documents, what are the grants, what are the different like um, like local, municipal, like jurisdiction papers that mm-hmm. you need. Um, how are those tokenized? How are those recognized? Um, and I learned a lot, but, I, but then I ended up having to go and make a video about it. And I'm like, oh, that would have been so cool to right. – and like, I guess like, it. And that's the thing, though. The thing that makes it crazy yeah. is now back to the Lambos is we're having these conversations in the backseat of a Lambo. Like, you see what I mean? So it's stuff like that yeah. where it's like where it's like it's sort of crazy. It's it's sort of in your face flashy. But at the same time, there's a lot of stuff that's actually happening. Now, don't get me wrong. When I was in L.A., L.A. is sort of B.S., bro. Uh, it's sort of like <laughs> fake it till you make it and then act like you don't right. get caught because right. because uh, there's so <laughs> much crap in L.A. But um, yeah. but at the same time. There are people that have a lot of money that do that do want to do things that are that are like whether it's sophisticated or whether it's um, like utility driven. There are people that want to do things, um, but at the same time, there's like a bunch of BS artists as well. So uh, right, that's the right. thing, though, too. Like I, I saw that too. I saw I saw people that were like TikTokers that were basically fully self aware that like the markets were be. It literally felt like like that scene in um. That scene in Wolf of Wall Street, but like have have like a TikToker saying oh. this. Yeah, dude, you don't know if the market's yeah. going up, down, whatever. But if you yeah. say when moon enough times, you'll make enough money. That literally, I see TikTokers saying this, and they're just like right. self-aware of the bullcrap. They're just like, yeah, right. we don't know, but like you just like they're just, just like, the way. And that's the thing. I'm like, what? Like what? What? Like what? Yeah. And that's the thing. Yeah. That, and, and and they're like, yeah, that's just like whatever and then people are asking them and they've got their little like discord like and they got their like like trading groups or whatever and yeah. and and i'm just like holy cow like like what what it was it would have been really or, good to film there was a lot of good and a lot of bad and a lot of crazy mm-hmm. and it was like the, it, it's always like that don't get me wrong that wasn't like a un that wasn't like an isolated thing um going to like new york it was sort of like that a lot of stuff going on um going just every time i go anywhere every time i travel anywhere um craziness ensues and sometimes it's just yeah. like ridiculous, but sometimes it's like, oh dang, this would have been cool to be able to talk about this conversation with like a VC about like a perfect example was I was at Consensus last year, and I was talking with these um mm-hmm. these guys were like VCs that were trying to get into crypto, but the main thing that they wanted to do were they wanted to be cross network liquidity providers because that was like their next big thing, and there was no protocol that could do that. And we had like literally like a 40 minute conversation at like a consensus party, um, literally just talking about what it would look like to be able to facilitate a cross network bridge and then what it means to be able to do uh, to art like arbitrage, like market making, right. uh, blah, mm-hmm. like all this stuff. And um, and it would just would have been cool. To, it could have it would have been cool just to see because we were drinking too. So like there's like a bunch of like drunk rich guys <laughs> talking about like yeah. arbitrage across networks. And, and and it's cool to talk about that happening, but it's just not as cool as like capturing it, you know? Right, right. Um, yeah, it, it, it would like it would be nice if you just uh, so your plan is to live stream all your interactions or from now on. Yeah. So for the most part, uh, what I'd like to describe is any interaction that I could have had on a, in a public forum. I'm going to have it on a live stream. I do have a lot of interactions that are private, but they're usually scheduled as such. You, they're not. These interactions are usually scheduled more as like a hangout or conversation where I do have like meetings that are more private. So um, every single time I have these sort of like these hangout meetups, whatever, and these could uh, these can um, operate in a multitude of different ways. So one example could be how we have it right now, where I have you in the Discord and the community channel. And as and don't get me wrong. Um, I'm going to create a mechanism to allow people to opt in to being um, to opt into being like a member and being able to interact in these chats, but being able to communicate with people in the uh, in the in my general YouTube community, that's a good way or that's a good um, medium to engage in um, being able to engage with people on like Twitter spaces like I normally do. Uh, that's a good medium to ex- ex- uh, mm-hmm. engage in. Um, and as I engage, as I interact with people in the space as a whole, 
um, I find myself just having just general chats with people and it would just be cool right. just to just to share the chats as well as like build the canon. So part of this too, and part of this is what I want when people come on to my stream, what I want them to gain is mm-hmm. as being part of this ongoing canon, um, if you have something going on, you have there's an audience of people that you can continuously reference that thing. So you sort of have a sort of like you have an audience where if you sort of have something going on and it's interesting, it's it's not like you have to constantly like promote it. Like people sort of know so you can just talk about it like casually. Um, right. And I sort of want that to be a thing, like like whether it's your website or whether it's Jake's um, right. uh, family firm. Um, people have mm-hmm. things that are going on. It's cool. And they don't need to, like, be, like, super, like, big about it. But, like, if they know you're someone who comes around uh, and, you know, oh, it's Bobby. He's got a channel or whatever. Um, I think it would be really mm-hmm. cool for people to be able to, like, share the things that they're interested in and constantly have, like, a community that they can engage in to do that. Definitely, definitely. Um, yeah. So, uh, let's see. Let's talk about some of my other projects. Uh, yeah, let's hear I, it. Let's hear it. Work on to promote uh, XTC. Um, so besides my website, um, you familiar with Romo Bruno by now? Oh yeah, yeah. In the in the chat. Yeah, in the in, in the server. So he's he's working on and uh, an animation, um, an XTC versus Ethereum animation, and uh, yeah, um, I have like a video on that you want to pull it up um do you know what video it is i've got a yeah. bunch of your videos here yeah i'll um it's 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 called roma bruno's xcc versus ethereum animation coming soon i think it's like um, fourth video or something i'll, I'll uh i'll can I, i'll link you in your in the, in the server Um, yeah, just drop it in the, uh, in that, in the live chat over here so I can. I can oh, sure. Okay. Give me a second. Yeah. Or sometimes I'll just, yeah, I'll just drop some, um. Give me a second. You see it? Um, yes. Hey, what's up? Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, you can kind of skip to the... Yeah. Uh, I will also um, post um, post some, some. I put I put it in the uh, the chat for the uh, the live the live panel. In the. Is this just like an animation? Yeah, you can skip to like um, the twenty second mark, and then play it from there. It's like a it's like a preview of his animation. Nice. Oh so yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's yeah. That's one of the uh, projects that he's working on. Uh, I'll, okay, I'll send you. A, I'm also working on another animation. I'll send you that. I'll send you the um, the link for that as well. Nice. Here. You can play that as well. Um, but yeah, like the the, the idea is, if you want to make XTC mainstream. Um, you have you have to focus. Like people, people like if you if you talk about trade finance to, to the to the regular Joe, on on you know on the street, they're not they're not gonna really know what you're talking about. If you if you hound on the 
the point that ecstasy is the real Ethereum killer, which is basically what my entire channel is about, then no, actually, like, so I actually one hundred and ten percent agree. Um, what I think you're describing is, I think there's like a a good way and a bad way to describe it. Uh, I think the good way to describe it would be, um, presentation of a particular idea almost matters more than the idea itself. Um, and sort of the silly way to describe it is meme warfare on the internet. Um, so like what I mean by that with like meme warfare is, uh, using like, and I see this with like your memes, actually, uh, I was trying to pull up some of these. I see this actually, oh, yeah, this, yeah, this can, one's yeah, a bit longer, my views, views as well. right? This one's yeah, a bit longer, but, um, but this one's no, no. But like this one, actually, let me see if I can, uh, yeah, bring this up. But this one, this one's like it's like good, like like as like a meme, like for people to be able to for like because the reason I say that is people like relate to like memes and animations and people people like relate to like memes and animations and I guess this is like <sighs> yeah, people definitely like they want something visual and they they want it. To straight to the point and uh you know because people's attention span nowadays are really short because of tiktok and stuff and uh you really you have to get their attention really quick and uh well, get to the well, point fast so well yeah so what i was going to say with that is if you're able to take a certain idea and you're able to package it as sort of as a joke as a meme as a you it's it's how you package it so um like usually what people typically like to do is they'll like package like political jokes or they'll package sort of like like some sort of broader message in a meme and that's sort of the joke and that's typically how people use mm -hmm. them but um but you can do that with like general ideas too so like when you're talking about like ethereum xdc or whatever um you could literally be talking about oh yeah well xdc is the ethereum killer because X uh, uh, Ethereum can't handle certain things at XCC, like just simply, I mean, it's a little technical. And I think maybe the delivery on that is probably gonna be the determining factor. But the yeah. main idea is being able to take uh, more complicated and sophisticated mm -hmm. ideas and then Definitely. packaging them as like memes or jokes or sort yeah. of like bite sized, sure. bite sized chunks that people and I see you see this with like, you see this with like, meme coins and crypto but you also see this with how people like latch on to different um assets i know people latch on to like the meme of like supply chain with uh with v chain and that's like a really low resolution one uh with xrp there's like the uh, all the money meme right and a bunch of ideas that are coupled in with that and i think those are probably a bit more sophisticated um but the same sort of thing here is if you take if you want to go xcc's the ethereum killer uh i think mm. adding on on top of that see the, i think the big idea would be adding some other ideas on top of that not only that reinforce it but also like uh reaffirm like the joke so either it makes it mm -hmm. funny or either it's funny because it's true or oh that's interesting i didn't know that i don't know how to describe it because this is like almost like describing right, right. ideas yeah. it's not even describing the idea but describing how you would describe the idea and um and then how people would perceive that description um, right. But that's the thing, though. I think what you're what you're saying is totally right because I think delivery is key. Uh, but at the same time, like there needs to be like something impactful to deliver. I relate right, right. a little bit to the XRP like community a bit because they do this really well when they talk about like cross border mittens. Um, all like people say all the money or whatever, but uh, when they talk about like just the network as a dex and 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 uh, like I said, cross border and and stable coins or whatever. Um, there's certain ideas that are pretty sophisticated that get boiled down to like memes and those memes get shared really easily. And then so do those sophisticated ideas. So, mm -hmm. so, and that's the thing, I think if you're really clever, you can actually have a lot of information packed into a really small, um, you know, meme idea, uh, joke or whatever. Um, and then as people, uh, reiterate that, I think it'll actually, uh, re reinforce, um, reinforce how people uh perceive the tech like xcc right. pr predominantly but yeah yeah so uh i i I'll call this my marketing campaign it started off so no one really was talking about xcc as a as a theorem killer um i think for a for a long time i started i started uh commenting on every uh xcc video in existence i'm sure you've probably seen my comments the you know famous comment the XC will kill Ethereum XC is a real Ethereum killer. So I started. So first I needed to get everyone in the XC community aware of this concept, 
that XTC is not just a trade finance coin. It's 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 the real Ethereum killer. Uh, and I see it seems like I have accomplished that because <laughs> uh, you know by now. And so now I moved on to uh, spreading this concept, this idea that XTC is a real Ethereum killer to audiences other than the crypto audience. So so I have this uh, I have this uh, this plan, this mission to uh, to make uh, XTC the uh, universal currency of of Discord. What I mean by that is on Discord, uh, everyone, most people don't have, uh, most people can't have a bank account, right? So um, XTC is perfect for 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 for, all, for the Discord community because now people on Discord can actually hold value. Um, without needing to create a bank account, because they can't. Uh, most <laughs> they can't yet, and uh, it really, I think, I think there's just an untapped market. There's an untapped market on on Discord. There's literally one billion people on there. That it, it, it would be it would be greatly beneficial for the Discord community to have a universal currency. And my goal is is to spread XCC um, everywhere on there. And and, I, I, and I've been successful. I, I I've actually been quite successful and been able to create a community that is not well it, it's not your typical crypto audience at all um these are people that play uh you know roblox fortnite uh, minecraft right be, be, these kind of people so so the key that the the key to, to marketing xcc uh right now is for me is is to make xcc cool basically am, amongst these uh these audiences these generations these, uh you know these newer generations that uh, typically aren't, you know, typically find crypto, uh, crypto in general as, as, as a joke. You know, I've somehow, I'm some, I've, so, I've somehow made XTC cool to them, so. No, that's super cool. I think making XTC cool is a pretty solid idea. I think making crypto cool is a pretty cool idea. Um, and I think the, like I said, the meme marketing or meme warfare, whatever you want to call it, is a interesting strategy. I only bring that up because um, people have brought, there have been like major meme channels that have like uh, pointed out like, how should I put it? There have been major meme channels that have been like pushing a lot of messaging and it's really good like advertising and marketing. And if you do it subtle enough, it just comes off as like a meme. Um, and it's part of that where you can spread ideas in that too. So I think, like I said, I see that with XRP a lot. So I think being able to see that as XTC as well would be cool. Um, is there anything you yeah. want to do? Is there anything you wanted to, uh, to add any last things? Sure, sure. Um, I'll just I'll talk about uh, um, the the kick community. I want I want to go back to kick community. So, I, I, are are you familiar with the uh, the um, XTC that 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 artwork of XTC killing Ethereum? Right. I'm sure you've seen that by now. Yes. That uh, drawing. Yes. So, uh, I have I, I I create a variation of that meme of the kick logo onto the XTC mask and then the uh, the, uh, the Twitch logo onto the uh, Ethereum. So the idea that kick is, is going to kill Twitch because uh, kick is is designed like, you know how kick, they don't really like Twitch, <laughs> the founders. Um, yeah, so basically this idea, uh, this I, I photoshopped this, 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 uh, this meme and I've been spreading it in the kick community uh, and it's been spreading pretty fast, really fast, actually. And it also acts as XTC promotion. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I think I think uh, uh, the meme campaign, as it would, or I guess you could say, your supreme leader of the meme of the mean effort, <laughs> the meme effort, if you would. Um, but no, I think I think that's a really interesting um, uh, approach. Uh, because yeah, I think with being able to simplify ideas in such a way for people to be able to relate, as well as them being more like funny or inclusive or a lot more than just like technical specs being listed out, I think a lot more people would feel the need or at least feel they would be able to engage better. But um, but no, really appreciate having you. I want to do more of these. Um, I do want to do more of these. Uh, these uh, uh, community spaces. These are sort of the first of. Definitely what's going to be many um and ideally so you're the first one um as i do more of these spaces and i invite people on to do more of these spaces at least in the uh community so these community spaces um if you want to hop in chime in say hey what's up 
um, add to the conversation or just listen in, feel free to. You can. Um, and for anybody else who gets added, uh, added in as well to like these private, uh, these private live stream convos, um, they'll also be able to be able to chime in as well. So hopefully we'll have sort of like a whole cast of people that operate in my own local community that are able to come on and sort of speak their mind and chat, um, as well as we'll like drop links in the uh, live chat for people to jump in. Um, but then as well as have people in the, in the uh, broader crypto space that I know hop in consistently as well. Um, hopefully in the next few coming days, I'm going to be speaking or I'm going to be bringing uh, somebody on who's dealt with tokenizing commodities uh, around farmers in Africa. So that might be really cool. Um, originally started on Ethereum, but yeah, guess who came knocking? Um, so so he may <laughs> yeah. be uh, he may be launching his, right. his product on uh, on XDC. XDC. And yeah. Um, yeah, it's an interesting. It's it's it's, it's funny because you can boil it down to it's an NFT marketplace. But it's a mar it's a marketplace that allows for these different independent farmers to be able to tokenize their goods and engage with each other directly rather than go through these different primarily a lot of governmental bodies and then inner and then inner or the trade between countries. There's a lot of politics involved in terms of being able to do so. And there's a few monopolies involved. So them being able to have peer to peer engagements for them being able to sell their crops could be a huge deal. And um, yeah, so he might be the next one I have on uh, this next coming few days. So I'm hoping and I'm excited for that. Awesome, yeah, yeah. Just uh, I just want to let I just want to let people know that um, that that XTC will have it will it will literally be number one in market cap one day. Um, like it's just just from straight finance alone. <laughs> like I like to say that XTC is. Not it's not just trade finance. It's not just the real Ethereum killer. It's the universal currency that people need to understand. One day, every single person in this world will be using XTC. That's just how it's going to be. It's inevitable. So, it's more than just trade finance. More than just a real Ethereum killer. Everyone will use it. It's the universal currency. XTC is the universal currency. That's what people need to understand. Awesome, awesome. I love your enthusiasm, bro. <laughs> Great. Um, awesome. Yeah. So that's basically it. Um, Appreciate you coming on. Um, yeah. Whenever I have more of these in here, just feel free to hop in. Oh, great! Awesome. Oh yeah. I'll catch you later. Catch you later, man. All right. See ya. See ya.